No. I'm going to get my haircut. What do you think? You think I should film it? What do you think, huh? The people want to see my haircut. What are you doing? Okay, all right, I'll take that as a yes. We're gonna film the haircut. You live? All right, so, a lot of you guys have been asking, Chase, how do you look so good? How does your hair just like, stay awesome all the time? Correction, no one has asked that, no one has said that, but I've been getting a lot of questions, comments about my hair, uh, what I say when I get my hair cut. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is take you along with me. We're gonna go see my girl Kelsey at Hair the Salon here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, hopefully, she lets me film. And uh, we'll see what she does. Hope you guys can take some notes if it's something you're interested in. Want to try to do yourself. Hopefully, this will carry over well enough for you to kind of get some ideas and uh, do your own thing. So let's head out. This is, the, this is the dilemma I get when I come with my hair. I have a general idea of what I like, and Kelsey knows what looks best. And so I kind of just tell her things, and then she gets creative. And so I've been, pretty much been doing the same thing for about the past. We did it for what, like a year? Yeah. Over a year. Changed it up a couple months ago. Changed it up a couple months ago. Yeah, I was doing like the old school kind of comb over slick back thing. Now it's a little bit more kind of up high fade, slick back and hair is growing longer. So we're going to paint. We're going to do the zero side. Zero? Uh, you want one? You want one? You want one? We're going to go one, see what it looks like. So kind of straight up the disconnect, right? Disconnect. Disconnect, yeah. And then. Then I'll loop it on the top so I can get that. Fade a little bit more on the back and then just make on the side. So another reason I keep coming back here is because Kelsey has the best scalp massage in all the land. So I'm gonna pass out here real quick for a nap and get my hair tingles going on. So be gay. See, do I need to shampoo and condition? Yes. Why Most should definitely. I eat? every day? Uh, I would go every other day. Or if you were to condition shampoo every day mm -hmm. instead of so you shampoo one day and condition, the next day condition. Instead of shampoo, because the shampoo is taking out all your natural oils. So I should not shampoo every day. Correct, because you're taking out your natural oils that your body produces to keep your hair hydrated. Yeah, I definitely shampoo every day. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna stop that. So if you can, if you have to feel like you need to clean your head or your scalp, I should say. Yeah, the reason I do is because I goop it up every day. Right. So, so I use conditioner. So don't. So when I get a shower it. the next day, just just condition. Don't just shampoo. Just condition. It? Really. What are your thoughts on shampoo and conditioners in one? Very nice. <laughs> They're not the best. You would not recommend them? No. Okay. <laughs> so Kelsey here is going to drop some more knowledge on secrets to a good scalp massage. The earlobes. So usually you want to massage it first and then hold it and please give it some pressure. Your ear lobes are also a pressure point. You want to keep one hand if you're moving to another area on the head. You always want to keep one hand on the head. Just so they still feel that pressure because sometimes if you take the hands off the head and you put them back on, they get, you know, they get scared. And that kind of ruins the whole point of a nice soothing massage. I do get scared pretty easily. <laughs> so on top of the forehead. In the back at the crown. So, a good one is you can see, Chase, you have like an occipital bone right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where your neck meets under your head. Right underneath, there's a little opening. You just apply pressure. So, you'll have the client just weigh his head down and it relieves the pressure. So, it's great for a headache too. Literally, it feels like I weigh one pound. 
And if you really want to get spiffy with it, keep one hand there and press pressure on his forehead. Cut the bottom, watch the top, and now because I've been growing out the length up front a lot, when I slick it back, the back part is a little poofy because I have um, white boy afro syndrome and my hair just grows in my mouth, so I gotta trim and thin that out. Which is just because it's kind of like making it pop out. Mm -hmm. That's my swirl. Oh, that's it's your swirl. It's my swirl. It's your natural swirl. Yeah, it's Hurricane Chase. Though. Chase the Chewing Melder, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> More body shots. <laughs> So even though we're going out the top a little bit, still got to get it thinned out, like I was saying in the last clip. Um, so keeping the length up top, but in the back thing out a little bit with the, uh, what is it? What is it called? Texturizing? Texturizing. Moving your waist. Yeah, there we go. I'm moving my waist. So basically, the back of my head is going on a cut, while the front of my head stays on a bulk. You can tie fitness into anything. It's science. So that's a wrap with the haircut. I figured I would do the final scene here where I started. It's always good to go back to your roots. So this is the new Freshy Fresh. I'll do a little slow-mo turn. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. All right, so maybe get a little closer. You can see in the light. Um, people think I'm crazy when I say when we move up to DC soon that I'm gonna come back here to get my haircut. I think it's probably normal. I'm gonna have to strategically plan when I come back for other things because it's a waste of gas, but look at this. You see this? When you find someone who treats you right, why would you ever leave them? Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, hope you enjoy the haircut. A little bit something different. Not quite gym, not quite style, or maybe just style. But enjoy it. Let it inspire you. Um, hopefully, if you saw something in the clip that maybe you could apply to where you get your haircut, that'd be like pretty cool. So, um, yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> she just woke up from an hour long nap. Now she's tired. All right, so we're going to pack up, hit the road. I'm actually working up out of our DC office tomorrow. So um, another weekend in Northern Virginia, maybe another little vloggy vlog action. I think Max is going to come up and meet us tomorrow. So who knows? Might get the Tuning Brothers extraordinaire extravaganza. That's a thing, right? Extravaganza. Anyways, all right, so. You stay classy, planet Earth. Then.